in the second installment of lesson two um, this is a story that if you grew up in church it's familiar right um, and I call it radical love gone wrong <sighs> this one is a little disappointing if I'm honest because the father of the faith Abraham is a dead be baby daddy girl come in let me give you this tea um, but serious it, it is I mean he didn't give much to um, his baby's mama um, what he gave her was not even enough to get far away um, it, it, that would be child support <laughs> so definitely wasn't gonna last for 18 years it wasn't even gonna last him on the journey and it didn't we have to remember that again she didn't have choice Hagar didn't have a choice she was property and I think we all want to remember the way this started so when this starts um, it's Abraham and Sarah Sarah can't have a baby God does indeed promise a baby but Sarah doesn't believe um, or she has a little faith and um, she says, you know, just go ahead and find a woman to have a baby. And Abraham was such a fool that he did it. And uh, that might not make sense to you, but it does. When you say, babe, um, I want to go out with the boys, you know, you good with that? She's like, yeah, just, it's fine. I was going, you know, I had cooked and I thought we was going to go to the movies or whatever. But if you want to go with the boys, it's okay. And you're like, cool. <laughs> no don't go it's a setup um or if it's a situation you know where you're talking to a guy you like you know you come out looking cute and he's like oh where are we going and you're like oh i'm going out with my girls but it's good right he's like yeah it's good but he's really upset he's gonna start texting you trying to blow up your phone uh you know sometimes we say things that we don't mean um because we really believe that someone's gonna give up on us um or that someone will get upset with us or we try to predict what someone will do and so that we don't have to feel it we give them false truth and she says go and be with her and then after he lays with Hagar and has this baby she's like she's taunting me girl ain't nobody bothering you you set this up and now you can't live with what you're dealing with that this is a handmaid right she is a servant and now you say she's taunting you see and that's what happens too we're not honest with ourselves about what's going to happen and then when it confronts us we can't deal with it so then we start tripping saying oh she was hating on me ain't nobody hating on you you know she was harassing me. ain't nobody bothering you this is in your mind because you made bad choices sarah so that's what we get to see there um don't forget the ethnic differences in this so not only was she a handmaid we have to remember what's going on um um with ethnicity what's going on with uh the socioeconomic status we have to remember um what's going on um in hagar's mind she didn't even sign up for any of this and now because sarah's tripping she has to be sent away and that old abraham was a deadbeat daddy and didn't even give a good child support what does it mean for the father of the faith to be a deadbeat dad I do not think we should ignore that um, as a question. And so, yeah, there are going to be a couple things that come up in here. And I hope you embrace them and you wrestle with them. I'm sure you will. What does it mean when radical love goes wrong? And if we're honest with ourselves, this reminds me of the episode of Insecure where Tasha tells Lawrence he's really a F boy who thinks he's a good guy. I mean, that's what she said. I can't really say it any other way. And I have to ask about Abraham, the father of our faith. Is he really a jerk who thinks he's a good guy? So, tell me what you think. Holla at your girl, R-A-V underscore B-R-I. And I'll see you during the next lesson.